Fernando Cortez, great grandee of Spain, was four times buried and dug up again. When at Seville they laid him in a vault, at first they thought the stone must be at fault. In Mexico, one coffin was of wood. It would have held him if a coffin could. His second coffin there was made of lead. The custom likeliest to lay the dead. The crystal coffin where he lay in state was locked with silver bars and silver plate but all the velvet covering his shroud was not enough to serve him he was proud the gold embroidered on his winding sheet was never gold enough to stay his feet the foreign string Upon it a black lace could never hold him, though it did his face. And when they broke the tomb that held his bones, they found no ashes there. For stolen stones, gold ingots and gold ornaments he sought, and murdered what emotes him. When he fought, he burned his ships. Behind him, though his threats were but ten cannon and four falconets, with eighteen horse, six hundred men at most, he set himself to conquer in a coast. From sea to sea, from death to death, he lived so often he could not do other than awake and walk on hearing the drums. Behind his cattle folk, 